Speaker. Last week, the Premier said that she wants to work with all parties in the House to create legislation to combat the BDS movement, which seeks to destroy the only democracy in the Middle East, Israel. As a member of the Jewish community, I am keenly aware that this movement is built on hate and lies. A few days ago, New York Governor Cuomo stood up to anti-Semitism by signing an executive order to ensure that those, those who boycott Israel get boycotted themselves. Sorry, that's Governor Cuomo. Will the Premier please tell us what legislation she is proposing and how it will be more than just words, legislation which will actually have the power to end the discrimination of anything associated with Israel and the Jewish community on our campuses? Yeah. Mr. Speaker, well, I just need to uh, correct the member opposite. I never talked about legislation, Mr. Speaker. I said we needed no. to work together with the opposition. Our government is a strong, strong supporter yeah. of Israel, Mr. Speaker. We always have been. We always will be. You know, that's why I was in Israel, strengthening and promoting our relationship and our, uh, our trade ties, Mr. Speaker. I made a statement when I was there. I said that uh, BDS is not the position of, uh, it's not my position, nor is it the position of our government, Mr. Speaker. And it's unacceptable for students or parents or children to feel unsafe or to feel discriminated against wherever they are, Mr. Speaker, whether they're on a campus, whether they're uh, in their communities, Mr. Speaker. So our government will never support a climate of fear or hostility. That's why we set up the anti-racism director, Mr. Speaker. We are, we are absolutely clear in our position. I have made a statement, Mr. Speaker, and I, I stick to that statement. The question period is over. There are no deferred votes. This House stands recess until 3 p.m. this afternoon.